I know that you are like, why I need to create a folder with a VBA code? Well, my friend, I'm not talking about a single folder. What I'm saying is to create multiple folders with a single click. All right, so here I have a folder on my desktop and I have an Excel workbook inside this folder. So this is the same Excel file that is open right now. And now what I want, I want to create 10 new folders within this folder and I want to use a VBA for this. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my developer tab, open the visual basic editor from here and then insert and click on module. Now I have already written this code and I'm going to paste it here. And now I'm going to run this code from here, or you can also use the key F5. And here we have 10 new folders within the main folder. Now, if you don't want to understand how this code actually works, you can just copy this code and save it somewhere in your system and use it whenever you want to use it. But I would suggest you to let me take you a few minutes more and make you understand that how this code actually works. It's pretty simple. Even if you want to change this code, you want to create more folders or less folders, you can edit it within seconds. So let me explain this code to you. So in this code, first of all, we have three different variables that I have created to save a set of data in it. So the main code starts from here that says base path equals to this workbook dot path. So this line basically takes path of this folder and save it into this variable. So let me show you what is the path of the this file. So the path is C user Puni desktop and my folder. This is the name of this folder. All right. Now after that, I have a loop which runs for 10 times because I have already specified one to 10. That means it will run first, create one folder. And then it will run again and create the second folder and then third, fourth, so on. Now, this line is for the counter of the loop for i equals to one to 10. Now in the second line, I have a folder name. I have a variable that that is folder name, which is I have already created at the starting of the code. Now in this folder name variable, I have base path and then ampersand and a backward slash folder. So basically I'm, I'm going to use this word folder for the name of all the folders. And along with that, I have I, which is a counter I'm using here. So it will basically create a name of the folder, folder one, folder two, every time loop runs, it will change the name from folder one, two, three, four. So this will become something like this. And two, three, four, so on. And after that, I have an if statement that uses dir function that means directory so it checks if the folder that i want to create like folder one folder two folder three if that folder is already there or not and if the folder is there already it will not create that folder it will skip it and run the loop again for the next folder and now this is the main line that actually creates a new folder so here and I'm, I'm just you know I have a condition that checks for if that folder is not there, that, that the blank means if that folder is not there, only then run this line of code that creates the folder. So MKDIR means make directory. And now let me go back to my folder and show you how this code actually works if I run it. So I'll show you each of the loop that runs and create folder one by one. And if, and let's say if I want to add a hyphen between folder and the number of the folder. I can simply edit it from here. And now I'm going to run this code step by step, line by line, basically. So you can see here.
and we have our, all the 10 folders here in the main folder. Now here I have a different scenario. So what I want here, I want to create 10 folders again, but I want to use names from this range. So I have the sheet one and then in the range A1 to A10, I have 10 names. And, and now I want to create 10 folders within this folder using these names. And I have already written this code and let me run this code and show you how it works. All right, so as you can see, we have new. So as you can see, we have 10 new folders with the names which we have in this range. It works almost same the way we have you know used the last code, but it has a few additional lines of code that takes names from the range and then use it as a folder name. Now, when you go to this code, it has same base path that is the path of the workbook main workbook and along with that it also have a variable where i have used the range a1 to a10 to get the names from there and in the loop now in this loop instead of having a counter from 1 to 10 what we have is for each cell for each cell in the folder range that means the range a1 to a10 and each cell in the range a1 to a10 now what happens is when you use folder name the folder name variable we are using base path that is this variable having the path of the file and again the backward slash and then cell value so cell is what cell is the each cell from the range a1 to a10 but one by one so when loop runs it goes to cell a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on and so forth and every time it takes the cell value and use it as a name of the folder so it creates a path using the base path this forward slash and then the value from the cell and now moving forward we again have if statement that checks hey if this folder is already there or not and it also checks if the value in the cell is there or not if you don't have any value in the cell let's say if you don't have a value in the cell a5 so if the condition is not met it will not create a folder because you don't have a name for the folder so it will skip that cell and will go to the next cell and take value from there and create the folder and once this condition is met only then it will use make directory and then use the folder name to create the folder so this is my small space from where i create most of my videos i record videos here i create content for my blog from here and i'll try to create a detailed video about my office in in coming weeks so make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out this video that shows you how to write a vba code to perform vlookup in excel and i'll see you next week